everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your news shot. So, Elon Musk makes it in the news again, only this time it has nothing to do with the fear-mongering uh, escapade that's going on with regards to AI, and believe me, folks, I mean, there's plenty of reasons to be uh, worried about AI, but eh, this was actually some good news. The Hyperloop pod traveled at 192 miles an hour. In its maiden journey, now, you might think, wow, that's a lot. That's pretty high speed. Well, this thing is set to go so much faster. And um, it's just an amazing piece of technology that could really change the way that we do things here in the United States. It says the ultra-fast Hyperloop, this is uh, the Telegraph over in the UK, it says the ultra-fast Hyperloop in one step is one step closer to becoming a reality after the pod traveled 192 miles per hour in its maiden journey. Hyperloop One said its prototype for the high-speed transport system, which could travel from London to Edinburgh in 50 minutes, reached the speed on a 500-meter-long test track. That's a half a kilometer, folks. 192 miles an hour. Fantastic. Said the test marked the first time Hyperloop One had propelled one of its carriages along the tube, as well as the fastest journey for the technology. And in May, they had a test with a smaller trolley that only reached 70 miles an hour, so it just goes to show you in a very short period of time, they made some pretty good progress. Now, eventually, what they uh, envision this thing to do, and of course, it's going to be that the tubes are going to basically link all of your cities. They expect that the Hyperloop system will have cars in there that travel at about 750 miles an hour through a vacuum. So the the pot, the, the tube itself will be vacuum. They, they'll remove all the air. It'll be a vacuum, and then the Hyperloop cars will actually go through and levitate maglev on the uh, throughout the tube. And it's just unbelievable that we're talking about changing the way humans travel for the first time in over a century. Shervin Pishavar is the co-founder of Hyperloop One. He says, we've reached historic speeds of 192 miles an hour, and we're excited to finally show the world the XP1 going through the Hyperloop One tube. And one thing that he does say is um, that there's a lot of interest in Hyperloop One from governments around the world to help solve their mass transportation and infrastructure challenges. That is extremely interesting, but what this does is it basically makes cities train stops. Instead of thinking of a city as a place or a state as a place you're stuck with, if you think about a a train that travels 750 miles an hour, you're now talking about you can live in Massachusetts, you can live in like Boston, you can live in uh, New York City, Washington, D.C., and you can work in any of those cities and still live, you know, and you can live in Boston and work in Washington, D.C. and commute there every day utilizing the Hyperloop if you had to. Because 750 miles an hour, you know, it gets you there pretty fast. It definitely introduces a whole new dynamic when it comes to uh, traveling and what work commute would be if this was implemented nationwide. Again, it would make basically your major cities, your metropolitan areas would become basically hyperloop stops. Almost like a subway system in a city. It would turn, <laughs> it would really bring about also uh, plans that were laid out on a website called America2050.org where basically under Agenda 21, you have mega regions and the populations are then concentrated within these super cities, if you will, these mega megapolises. And these megapolises would be where you have all your population and then you rewild all of your uh, farmland, all of your woods, I mean, it's it's unbelievable. It, almost Soylent Green in a way. Like, if you ever watch the movie Soylent Green, you can see, like, everybody's in the population centers, and, of course, it's a catastrophic situation. The world is uh, short on food. The food supply, the food chain's been disrupted due to pollution and earth changes 
And as a result, um, they market this food that they say was made from algae called Soylent Green. They're crackers. Only they come to find out that Soylent Green is actually people. They were recycling people and making them crackers. Uh, great movie with Charlton Heston back in the 70s if you ever want to check that out. But this really falls in line with Agenda 21, with America 2050, in concentrating the population within the population centers, rewilding uh, rural America, and it basically opens up the entire country to where in a couple hours you could get from one end to the other, you know, five hours, I would say. Five hours you could get from Boston to Los Angeles. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting to say the least. So uh, 192 miles an hour, that was the uh, latest test. Very cool. Uh, what implications it has, how it changes our lives, even if, if it's even implemented remains to be seen. But quite interesting when humanity puts its resources towards science and the betterment of society then, you know, war and war and more war. Kind of cool. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day. 